When Winona County made the decision to upgrade its records keeping system to a new digital record system, that meant big changes for both the Winona County Sheriff's Department and the Winona Police Department. The decision has changed the way information is collected from the field and how it is shared with other areas of law enforcement such as neighboring departments and the county attorney's office. Winona Police Chief Paul Bostrak said his department has been on the new system for about six weeks. We made the official uh, switchover in December of 2013 and have been on uh, our new system, LETG, Law Enforcement Technologies Group, um, since then. Um, I believe uh, as of today we have about a thousand incidents in the system. As the system becomes populated with information, Bostrak foresees officers spending less time filling out paperwork. The, definitely there is a time savings um, at the end of the end of the tunnel when it gets uh, to where it, it needs to be and that I think we're already seeing that and say like an example being a DUI where it takes up to four to five hours for an officer um, <clears throat> to get through a standard DUI and a lot of that was uh, time filling out forms you, you know in the old system you were entering the same information names addresses driver license numbers and all that stuff uh, um, manually and here it grabs all of the information and starts auto populating as you go so that's uh, going to be a big time saver and just one example of how um, it can get officers back out on the street. Ostrak also sees another advantage. With officers entering all policing contacts digitally, those coming on duty can now quickly retrieve all activity that occurred during the previous shift. In the past I used to come in and you know the, uh, our, the sergeants or deputy chiefs uh, in reviewing the you know the previous shift reports um, we'd have to go to a a basket full of papers and read through them um, and those weren't everything that was reported throughout that time frame because things like a, we might not have a copy of a barking dog or a traffic stop where there was a verbal warning or a minor citation or a parking citation in this system when you look at it um, everything all calls are right on your screen <clears throat> in the morning or whenever your shift starts you can make a quick review of whatever went on in the last 24 48 72 hours the LETG system is also being used by the county's other law enforcement agencies in Goodview, Lewiston, and St. Charles. Winona County Chief Deputy Ron Gandrud said that will be a positive for the Sheriff's Department. We'll be able to also uh, know if there's involvements in the other cities in the county. We don't always know what's going on in St. Charles or Lewiston or Goodview. Uh, the system now interlinks all of us, so better communication. Bostrick said there are a number of components which can be added onto the system. One of those is an e-ticketing program, which will be up and running soon. Eventually, all data will be shared amongst departments digitally, virtually eliminating the need for a paper copy of a report. One of the uh, benefits of this is the, wire, or the uh, paperless citation, where the only paper citation um, at the end of the uh, process will be given to the violator. Um, we, we're still working with court administration in the state and we're in the process now and it should happen fairly quickly to uh, um, make that the only paper copy. It has the potential to become a uh, more paperless system. Um, we still have some of the implementation left. Uh, in effect, we need to tie in with some of the other agencies like court administration so that our ticket writer will send a, a digital citation out to <clears throat> records to court administration and the only paper copy will go to a violator. Um, same thing with reports. Uh, we have some of that uh, working now uh, where instead of making physical copies, uh, paper copies to go to the city and county attorney, those reports will go over digitally so we have less printing, less, uh, uh, less processing here. Um, and then it goes into our records department in a digital format as well. Bostrak said the PD's transition to the new system has been led by three of his officers. He said without their work, the changeover would have been a much larger challenge. We have, at least within our department, um, three individuals that have really been the core resource for our training, um, working with the vendor to tailor the, uh, the product so that it works within our uh, ways of doing business. Um, <clears throat> one of them... Uh, Adam Brumrick, our evidence technician, uh, is very knowledgeable in it. Uh, Sergeant Chris Nelson and Deputy Chief uh, Tom Williams, and they've worked on it very hard. And uh, without their work, it would be a, a, a 
big uphill battle. And while it isn't, you know, it, it does take a lot of work. Um, they've been making it work for us very well. A number of other departments throughout Southeast Minnesota are also implementing the LETG system, including the Fillmore County Sheriff's Office and police departments in Chatfield, Preston, and Rushford. Mauer County is also slated to begin using the system.